Hi, this is Ryan with uh, Blair Technology Group. In today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, setting up your machine for the first time, uh, basically from the point you turn the power button on on the machine uh, until you enter Windows and all the steps in between there. Um, so what we'll do here, I just hit the power button and you'll see uh, the splash screen here, the Dell splash screen. This is what you should typically first see or IBM, uh, Lenovo, HP, depending on your machine, obviously. And then it'll go up to the starting windows. So I'll let you uh, basically just take a look of at uh, what you should see on the screen here. Now after the uh, initial loading process you just saw there, uh, it's going to bring you up to the Windows 7 language settings. Uh, they should be set to the proper things by default, uh, United States, English, United States, and uh, keyboard layout is US. So you, you don't really want to mess with these. Uh, basically all you want to do is go down to this next button and go ahead and left click the next button. Uh, once you do click the next button, it's going to ask you to input a username. Uh, you can basically put in anything that you would like. Uh, you can put in your name or you can just put in random characters. It's just naming the PC, uh, so it, it doesn't really matter and it's completely up to you. Uh, once you do have something in here, uh, you can just go ahead and click the next button. This will bring you to the password window. Uh, you can certainly feel free to type in a password if you would like. Basically, you just want to type in your phrase there in the uh, first box. Uh, you want to type in the exact same thing in the second one to confirm the password. And then in the third box, it will allow you to basically put in some type of hint in case you do forget your password. Now, if you don't have any security issues, um, no, you're not worried about anyone getting on your computer or anything of that nature, it is probably best to just leave all three of these boxes blank. It's certainly a lot more convenient. If you do leave all three blank, uh, Windows assumes you just don't want a password and the machine will boot straight into Windows without you having to enter anything or if the machine goes to sleep you'll not have to enter anything to wake it up or anything like that. Uh, and Once you've made that decision you can just go ahead and click next and this will bring you to the product key key page. Uh, now you will want to enter your product key. Uh, your product key will be located on desktops. It should be on the top of the machine. On laptops, it will be on the bottom of the machine. Uh, and it should be on a Windows 7 refurbished PC sticker. Uh, it's either a light brown or kind of a multicolor, uh, depending on your um, your machine. But it uh, once you do locate that key, uh, you want to go ahead and just enter it in here. As of right now, I've just put in some X's uh, just as an example to show you the format. Uh, once you do have the key properly put in, you can just go ahead and click Next. Uh, if you are having some issues reading the key, you can skip this phase as well. But if you do have the opportunity to enter your key, we certainly do recommend that you you enter it uh, at this phase. Once you finish with the product key, it's going to bring you to the license agreement for Windows 7. Uh, you basically, you can read through the terms if you would like, uh, but you will definitely need to click the I accept the license term box uh, before you can continue. As you see in the video, once I click this, it does highlight the next button. Uh, and Once this is highlighted, you can just go ahead and click next. This window will give you the option to select how you want to run Windows updates and what updates you're actually downloading. Um, the first option will basically download every update for Microsoft uh, Windows. Uh, a lot of them, as a typical user, you do not need. Um, and use recommended settings will also provide Microsoft with some confidential um, information on your browsing habits and uh, Windows issues. Um, if 
for a vast majority of users, I do recommend that you install important updates only. Uh, it will certainly cut down on the amount of updates that you actually have to download. And uh, the vast majority of the recommended updates you will not need. Uh, you can always download them later if you do run into an issue, uh, but this will certainly save you some time in your overall uh, computer setup. Uh, once you have made your selection, it will bring you to the date and time options here. Uh, we'll want to make sure that the date and the time are set properly. Uh, you can, first of all, what you want to do is use this drop down box here at the top and select your time zone. Uh, we are in Eastern Time here, so I'm going to go ahead and select Eastern Time. Uh, once you do find your proper time zone, you can just go ahead and left click on this. It'll close this drop down box. And if you do need to adjust the date and time here, you can just use these up and down arrows uh, to adjust it by hour. And on the date, uh, you can use the uh, top arrows on the left and right uh, to basically move month to month until you get to the proper um, proper date there. Uh, once you do have everything set properly, uh, you can just go ahead and click the next button. After this uh, short load time here, you are going to pull up Windows 7 for the very first time. Uh, now, assuming you have your computer plugged in to an Ethernet port uh, and active internet, it should connect right to the network right away. Um, and once it does connect to the, the network, it'll pull up this set network location asking you basically what network policy you want to use. Uh, there are a couple options I recommend. If you have other computers on your network at home and you want to share files or pictures or anything directly um, between the two machines or you have a Wi-Fi printer or a network printer you'll definitely want to use the home network option uh, if you, this is your only machine or you do not have any kind you have no interest in sharing files between your machines uh, certainly you'll want to choose public network as this is the most secure option uh, for video purposes we're going to go ahead and choose the home network so you can see the setup process Once it's uh, finished applying the network settings here, it will pull up this window here, giving you some options on exactly what you want to share on your home network. Pictures, music, videos, and printers are all selected by default. Uh, you can add documents as well. Uh, basically, it's going to give any computer on your home network uh, availability to look in your My Documents folder under Pictures, Music, Videos, and Printers. Um, as well as if you do select documents they can you know pull down documents as well uh, and you can choose whatever you want to give access to uh, just one thing or everything and that's completely up to you uh, once you do decide you can just go ahead and click next and um, this will give you basically a password uh, that you may need to enter uh, to connect the computers uh, up together to actually share information between one or the other. Uh, you can certainly write this down, uh, but uh, it, it uh, says here you can view or change it by opening it in the home group in control panel. So you can actually change this uh, to something a little easier to remember. Um, or you can find it later if you you know you write it down and lose it so it's, it's certainly not the end of the world uh, but once you do have this uh, information you can just uh, certainly go ahead and click on uh, finish once we've finished our network setup here you see we're hiding behind here was the uh, Microsoft Security Essential setup wizard uh, this is the setup wizard for your Microsoft uh, antivirus. Uh, this antivirus is on all of our computers and is provided as a free service directly from Microsoft. Uh, it is a full antivirus suite and we're going to uh, show you the setup process here. 
So you can just go ahead and click next. Uh, once you've clicked next, it'll bring you to uh, accepting the license terms uh, for Microsoft Security Essentials. Uh, you can certainly feel free to read through this. Uh, and once you're ready, uh, you can just go ahead and click I accept. This following page will give you the option of whether or not you want to join the Customer Experience Improvement Program. Uh, basically, it will give um, Microsoft anonymous information on uh, viruses or anything that you might get so they can improve their antivirus. You can certainly opt out of this. Uh, so once you make your decision, you can just go ahead and click next. Uh, this will bring up the user account control asking you if you want to allow it to make changes. You'll certainly want to click yes so it will install properly. Uh, once you go ahead and click yes, uh, it will bring you to uh, this next page and uh, you can just go ahead and click finish here. This will bring you to the updating page. Uh, it's going to download all the latest updates and uh, virus definitions uh, to help keep your computer secure. You don't have to watch this. You can't just uh, minimize this or close this window and it, it will do it in the background. And this will conclude the initial setup of Windows 7. Uh, we will have a couple complimentary videos on our YouTube channel as well as they'll be linked on our website as well www.blairtg.com uh, showing you how where to go from here, uh, how to run Windows updates, which there will be a lot of updates that you'll need to run, uh, as well as a couple tips and tricks uh, on how to get your machine up and running uh, as efficiently as possible. So certainly uh, check those videos out. Uh, if you do have any questions or run into any problems, certainly feel free to give us a call. Uh, we can be reached at 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at uh, 855 Blair TG. Uh, again, that's at uh, 855 Blair TG. So I hope this video helped you and uh, have yourself a great day.